For generations, we've been taught a simple truth. Put a seed in soil, water it, and a plant will grow. It's a beautiful process. But I'm often asked a question that challenges this very idea, a question that's been trending in searches lately. Is soil really necessary for a seed to germinate? The short answer, my gardening friends, is no. Soil is not what wakes a seed from its slumber. Today, we'll uncover the true secret of germination, and I'll show you how to use this knowledge to grow vibrant, healthy vegetables without a single speck of soil, right in your own home. To understand why, let's look inside a seed. Inside this tiny package is a dormant plant embryo, a built-in food supply called the cotyledon, and a protective outer coat. Germination is simply the process of activating this dormant life. And it requires only three things. First, water. The seed must absorb water in a process called imbibition. This swells the seed, softens the coat, and triggers the metabolic processes to begin. Second, oxygen. Once hydrated, the embryo needs oxygen for respiration to break down its stored food into usable energy. And third, a suitable temperature, which governs the speed of these chemical reactions. You see, soil is a wonderful medium. It holds moisture, provides structure, and later on offers nutrients. But for that initial spark of life, it is not a strict requirement. A seed can germinate on a moist paper towel, in a jar, or even on a sponge, so long as it has water, air, and warmth. Now, here is the critical turning point that many miss. While a seed doesn't need soil to germinate, the seedling cannot survive for long on its own. Once the first root, the radical, emerges, and the first leaves unfurl, the seed's internal food store is depleted. The plant must now begin photosynthesis to create its own food, and for that, it needs a steady supply of minerals and nutrients. In nature, soil provides this. But what if we could provide these nutrients in a more direct, efficient way? This is where the ancient yet futuristic world of hydroponics comes in. Hydroponics is the method of growing plants in a nutrient-rich water solution, with their roots supported by an inert medium like clay pellets or rock wool. It sounds complex, but the principle is simple. Deliver exactly what the plant needs, directly to its roots, without the barrier of soil. The results are often remarkable. Because the roots don't have to struggle to find food, plants can grow faster, yield more, and use up to 90% less water than traditional gardening. It's a perfect solution for small spaces, balconies, and indoor kitchens. Let me guide you through building one of the simplest hydroponic systems for beginners, the Deep Water Culture, or DWC. You can build this with a few items from a local store. You will need an opaque storage bin to block light and prevent algae, a lid for that bin, some net pots, these are small mesh pots, an inert growing medium like clay pellets, a liquid hydroponic nutrient solution, and most importantly, an aquarium air pump, tubing, and an air stone to oxygenate the water, preventing the roots from drowning. Step 1. Cut holes in the lid the size of your net pots. Step 2. Place the air stone inside the empty bin, connect it to the air pump with the tubing, and run the cord out. Step 3. Fill the bin with water and add the hydroponic nutrients according to the bottle's instructions. Step 4. Place your pre-germinated seedlings, the ones we started on the paper towel, into the net pots, supported by the clay pellets. Step 5. Set the net pots into the holes in the lid. Ensure the bottoms of the pots will be touched by the nutrient solution or just above it, so the roots can grow down to drink. Maintenance is straightforward. Top up the water as needed. Every one to two weeks, change the entire nutrient solution to keep it fresh and potent. And if you don't have a sunny windowsill, a simple grow light will work wonders. In just a few weeks, you'll be harvesting the crispiest, most flavorful lettuce you've ever tasted, all from a system you built yourself. You've harnessed the true needs of a plant and provided for them directly. So, the next time you hold a seed, remember the power within. 
soil is a helpful friend, but it is not the master of germination. You have the knowledge to start seeds and the power to grow food in new, efficient ways. If this journey from seed secret to soil-free harvest was helpful, please support our Seedly family. Give the video a like, subscribe for more, and share your own hydroponic experiments in the comments below. We love to see you growing.